Well, hi everybody, and uh, welcome back to the garage here. And I'd like to wish each one of you a happy Easter, and uh, uh, enjoy the day tomorrow with your friends and family, and don't forget to hide some eggs for the kids. Uh, last week, as you recall, uh, we were working on ribs, uh, the wing ribs for the Sonarai, and uh, uh, we were straightening these out and making sure that the bends were true and, uh, and correct. And uh, uh, today I've been working on uh, starting to assemble those ribs to the main spar. And um, uh, in front of me here, uh, we have, and I'm gonna bring in for a close up here, uh, we have uh, the number one right hand nose rib, uh, which took me about, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe like three hours or four hours to put together. Uh, it's a, quite a learning process for me. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I really take my time and try to double and triple check everything, make sure it's right before I, uh, before I go ahead and, and uh, start drilling holes and, uh, uh, you know, and hopefully not making any mistakes. Um, so uh, what, uh, what I'm gonna show you here, is uh, the uh, this is the nose rib here, and uh, there's uh, a couple reinforcements, and those reinforcements are right down at the uh, at the spar, which is this uh, this item right here, and uh, those uh, reinforcements, uh, one is a a small piece of angle iron, aluminum angle iron that's uh, 2024 aluminum. Not that anybody cares, but that's what it is nonetheless. And then we have another piece of uh, aluminum. This is, uh, uh, I believe it's 32 thousandths of an inch thick. And uh, that I bent up this week. And um, that goes uh, behind the angle. And then last but not least, then uh, then we have the rib and uh, now all of this is joined to the uh, to the spar using uh, the final uh, assembly will be using rivets okay and these will be stainless steel pop rivets uh, very strong uh, but uh, what you're looking at here all these little devices here these are what they call Clico holders and uh, if there's a woodworker in the family, you know how much woodworkers love clamps. Well, these are uh, airplane building clamps. And uh, we, uh, we use a pair of pliers, and I'm gonna show you those here, okay? And uh, so these pliers, they grab the Clico, and you put it through the hole. Let me get... Um, let me put a Clico. Yep. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but I'm gonna show it to you. And uh, as I squeeze the Clico players together, it extends these little uh, tips on the end, okay? And those are the same diameter as the uh, rivets. Now once you release that, uh, the, the two outer tangs spread apart grabbing the back side of what it is you're clamping and then the copper colored part comes in from the other side and squeezes the whole assembly together. So um, uh, in, this, uh, in this one setup here, uh, for this one, one rib, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And there are two that I couldn't put in that should be in there. So it should be 18 Clicos, and of course it eventually will be rivets to hold on this one nose rib. And uh, you know, this, uh, this is pretty flimsy stuff here. You know, I mean, if we were to look at it, we'd say, geez, our beer can isn't a whole lot uh, thinner than this. But uh, once the, uh, the flanges are on, 
once the reinforcements and everything is riveted together, this becomes quite stiff. And, uh, uh, and that's what's going to hold us up. So now I only have, uh, I only have, uh, oh, let's see, eight more nose ribs to put on this side and nine uh, uh, trailing ribs uh, or the main ribs that I'll have to install on the other side of this after I get done with, uh, with uh, this side. So, uh, and of course, then we're going to go to the uh, left wing and we're going to finish up there. So, uh, uh, oh, and by the way, I was going to show you, uh, here's my bag of uh, Clecos that uh, just arrived in the mail yesterday. This is what I've been waiting on. Uh, and I have purchased 500 of them. Uh, I was... Uh, uh, I was recommended to buy 800, but uh, I felt, well, let me try 500 first and see if that doesn't do the job for me. Uh, but uh, so there you have it. And uh, the son and I were, uh, were continuing to work and um, we're trying to, uh, uh, you know, make heads and tails of all the plans and all the details on the plans, you know, which. Uh, uh, doesn't seem like much to begin with, but once you uh, once you begin in depth, uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, so um, stay tuned, and we'll bring you up to date here uh, uh, next time we have a uh, uh, a new development here. So uh, thanks for coming out to the shop, and uh, I do wish you all a merry uh, a merry Christmas, a uh, happy Easter, and uh, enjoy.